Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man that's going to be a part of Bellator 206 on Saturday night, September 29th, of course, live on DAZN. It is Aaron Pico. Aaron, as always, I appreciate the time, man. You uh, you just keep topping yourself every time you step inside the Bellator cage. So uh, how, uh, how can you top uh, your most recent performance? I, I think the biggest thing is just going out there and, and, and using my skills with I I've improved so much even from the last fight. I keep improving each and every fight, and that's what you ultimately want to do. So I just got to go in there and relax, like I like I like I have been doing, and and uh, just just let it flow. But it's going to be an exciting night. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, I, I recently said on the show that this was it got asked a question about the fights I'm most interested in the rest of the year. And this was a fight that, that I brought up between you and Leandro Higo, obviously Leandro coming up uh, from 135 pounds. Uh, you know, when, when Bellator comes to you with, with this fight offer was, was the, the name Leandro Higo a little bit of a surprise. Um, not, to be honest with you, I just, I saw the name. I said, okay, where, where do I sign? Where do, let's, let's fight. Um, Confident in my abilities, but as you said, he, he is a tough guy. This is probably the biggest fight of my my career so far, and um, we're ready for the challenge. I mean, one thing that stuck in mind is he's, he's you know he's Brazilian, he's gonna come to fight and uh, you know put on an exciting fight. But we're prepared for everything that, that he throws at us, and I hope he's ready for for everything that I have because it's gonna be uh, some powerful stuff coming at him. What do you think the biggest challenge is? The biggest challenge he offers you? I just think he's got more experience. Obviously, I think he's just kind of all around, uh, just good everywhere. You have to respect him everywhere. But I feel I could take the fight anywhere I want the fight to go. If I want to take him down, just all my coaches need to do is snap their fingers. If I want to stand with him, I can out grapple him. Definitely going to be able to to out condition him. He's going to be able to you know get me tired. So so it's. Uh, yeah, just, just everywhere, just being aware. But if I use my skills, stay relaxed, it's just a matter of time. I, I get the sense, and I don't know if you get the sense as well, of of the MMA fan is like, at what point are we going to see Aaron use his wrestling? Do you get that sense as well? Yeah, I, I do. I do. I mean, I just haven't, you know, my, my, I just let my body take over in the cage. I mean, and some, if I hit you once with, with my left hand, it's going to hurt you. If I hit you with my right hand, it's going to hurt you. So, honestly, I haven't had to use it, but I, I'm prepared to use it for sure. I mean, I can take down anybody in the world. I've got, obviously, a high pedigree of wrestling. I wrestle all over the world. and But I think the fans like to see knockouts on the feet. And it's not like I could go in there just looking for a knockout. It just happens. So, uh yeah, I have not used my wrestling, but uh, but it, it, the thing is, is if I am going to use my wrestling, it's going to be even a longer night for him. So, or any opponent, if I get on top of you, good luck getting up. So, but uh, but I'm I'm, I'm prepared for everything that he has to has to throw at me. That's for sure. I, I saw something on social media the other day. It was talking about Frey Roach being in, in your corner for this matchup. What, what would you say is the best advice that you've gotten from Freddie? Uh, the best, uh, the best advice I've gotten from Freddie is just yeah, one thing. One thing I can, uh, you know, I can honestly say, working with Freddie is just he's constantly trying to improve himself in the MMA. So we're constantly just putting our heads together, coming up with combinations and certain things that that would that would work. Um, uh, work with him, you know, in boxing, obviously, and and, and but it's kind of a mixture of both. You know, I spar uh, boxing. And then, you know, we hit pads like, will this work in MMA? And we're constantly putting our, putting our heads together, trying to come up with, uh, with certain things for MMA. Um, biggest thing I, that, that comes to mind is just, just his willingness to learn. You know, he's got a crazy amount of world champions that he's, he's trained, but he's constantly trying to improve himself and learn certain things in MMA. So I think me just recognizing a, a great coach like that, having an open mind is, uh, his eye opening is just no matter how many championships you win, there's always something to learn. So, 
I was reading an article um, based on comments that TJ Dillashaw had said about you because you two ha- have worked together uh, a little bit, and, and he called you one of a kind. Um, w- when you hear TJ, who obviously is a champion, say that, um, you know, it's obviously it, it means a lot. But for you, when you train with TJ, would you also kind of consider him one of a kind as well? Yeah, absolutely. The the respect is is mutual. I, I mean, watching him train for I've been with him now for the both Cody fights. And, uh, you know, nonstop work. I, I see what a UFC champion you know puts into the into his craft and his lifestyle and and surrounding himself with good good people is just it's just like you said. It's it, I respect and admire him a lot. It's just him going out there and all the pressure that was on him, even camps and stuff, but. Little did they know that the little did Team Alpha and Male know that this guy was working his ass off while they were all trying to, you know, I don't, I'm not involved with that. I don't, I don't try to involve myself. But little did they know uh, while all that was going on, he was in the garage grinding away, with the grinding away, watching his diet. Like it was just, it was just, it was, just, it was cool to see him go out there and uh, no matter what the bullshit was, he put it all aside, put his head down and just, you know, train. And, and um, it was really cool to see him, you know, go out there, win his belt and defend his belt. It's just, uh, it's respectful. It's respect. Being around him, you've been around, you know, various champions in MMA and in boxing as well. Have you noticed a common characteristic in all of those fighters that you said, you know what, I need to have that characteristic or this characteristic. Is there something that's really stuck out to you about, you know, people who have made it to that, that top level? Biggest thing is just consistency. Just all the guys who just they show up every day and, and they know what the goal is and to be the best in the world. I'm surrounded by guys, surrounded by guys. This is what they do for a living. This isn't, you know, I work, I work and then I, I train for fun. No, this is what they do for a living. They're consistent. They love it. Um, and, and, and that's the biggest thing I see. Showing up with your work boots and putting in the work, surrounding yourself with a great team and, and being consistent. And, 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 the, and the most important thing is just having it within yourself. And you put, the, put that all together and you will get to the top. Uh, you know, looking at you at 145, I mean, the way you keep climbing the ladder at every fight, there's always a step up in competition. Um, and I do wonder, does there get to a point where, um, you know, if your teammate AJ McKee is a champion, w- would you go back up to 55? Uh, no, to be honest with you, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm too small for 155. But... At the way that my weight is right now, it's just so hard. I would have to, I would have to put on a bunch of weight to make 155. The thing is about going for me going up to 155 and the way that I work with my nutritionist and strength coach Sam Calavita, it's not just, it's just not a couple of months where you put on the size and 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 you're going to be at 155. Um, it takes it takes a long time, and I'm around 155 as a trainer with Sada Wad, and that dude is a big big guy you know he's you know he, he there's no way that i'm i'm on i'm a 155 or just standing next to him and i see the way that you know how his body is and he's working with obviously the same strength and conditioning coach as me and i think my stature and my frame is, is perfect for for 145 so i i, I would say at 145 for sure because that's just that's that's the best chance for me to get to the top i mean 145 is, is my weight class um, for me to stay, but not to say that I won't be at 155 in the future, but for me, for a couple of years more, 145 is perfect. I mean, that's, that is my, that is my weight. And one thing going, um, first working with Antonio, he said, why are you even at 155? There's no way you should even be at 155. You're a 145 pounder. And I said, yeah, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. And so back to your question. No, I, I, I 145, I'm going to be here for, or for a long time. You know, obviously, the, this fight card kicks off the the the, uh, the welterweight tournament Bellator is doing. I mean, and, and obviously, you're very familiar with it, with the tournament um, format. Are, are you are you kind of nudging the Bellator people, saying, you know, we should do a, a tournament at 45? Yeah, that would be uh, that would be awesome to do, to do a um, a tournament at 145. I think that would be probably the most exciting weight class that Bellator has. You know, 170 is a really you know, great. Yeah, every weight class in Bellator is, is exciting, but at 145, I think there's a 
a lot of guys there that are that are that have earned the, the title shot and are capable of winning winning it. And I think a tournament would be a really cool thing. It would work in my favor as well. I mean, I'd be ready for for a tournament. Um, and yeah, man, may the may the best man win. It would be a crazy, uh, crazy, uh, probably a crazy year. But yeah, I mean, anytime you get to to be in a big time tournament for a belt. Best believe I'm game for it. And of course, everyone's going to be able to see your fight come up here on Saturday night, September 29th, exclusive on DAZN. Of course, just hit up uh, the DAZN website to set up your subscription. You can watch Aaron's fight against Leandro Higo. will be a part of this main card. Aaron, man, as always, I appreciate time and uh, look forward to seeing your fight, man. No worries. Thanks again.